Good morning. Welcome back to the Reading Corner. Remember how I told you we have quite a few silly books this week that have a story very similar to The Three Little Pigs, but a little bit different. Well, today I have one that I think you're going to like. It's called The Three Little Aliens and the Big Bad Robot. So instead of three little piggies, there's three little aliens. And instead of a big bad wolf, there's a big huge robot. Let's see how the three little aliens have to work with a big bad robot. Once there was a mama alien who had three little aliens, they were called Bork, Gork, and Nickachick. Bork, Gork, and Nickachick grew up in an old fashioned house in a snug, cozy little crater on a tiny little planet. As the eons and the years passed, their house got super duper full and crowded. Whoa, look at all the stuff they have. That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? At this time, I think we need to find a new planet of our own, their mama told them. And she gave them each a big hug. Remember, watch out for the big bad robot. He'll want to chew you up. So Fork, Fork, and Nika Check took off. Bye, mama, they cried. Bye-bye, kids, she shouted back. Always stick together, she added, and she sniffed a little bit, and she called them every once in a while. Look, that's so funny. The three little aliens traveled far and fast. That's a cute planet, said Bork. Too hot, said Nickajack. How about that one, said Bork. Too crowded, said Nickajack. They darted around a meteor. Are we there yet? Cried Bork. Look at them. They're going all over the place. Just past the next bend, a big planet swirling with dust loomed into view. Bork spotted a shiny space rover zipping around the mountains. Awesome, she said. I'm going to live on that. Ma said to stick together, said Nikachek, but Bork had already zipped too far ahead of them all. Look, she's going to live here. Not a straw house, but instead it's a space rover house. Nikachek and Gork traveled on. Nikachek didn't like the looks of the next planet either. Nowhere to breathe, he gasped. Picky, 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 Gorky said. Then, just ahead, he spied a giant planet with huge rings all around it. He jumped on a passing satellite and caught a ride on a ring. Whee! he said. This is what I call home. We can't live on a ring that goes around in circles, yelled Nikachev. You'll get dizzy. But Gork wasn't paying any attention. He decided to live on the satellite. Not a stick house, but a satellite house. Kind of silly. Now Nikachek was all alone. He traveled deeper and deeper into space until he spotted a huge blue planet far out in the galaxy. It had 13 moons and beautiful, refreshing, cool breezes. This faraway planet is where I'm going to build my home, he said. It will be safe from the big, bad robot. So look, there he goes. He's going to live right there. I wonder what kind of house he's going to have. Let's see. Make a check on everything he needed to make big, strong, and sturdy walls. He gathered up stardust to keep his home bright and sunny, 
and he found solar panels to keep it nice and warm. Then he grabbed a tall, shiny telescope, and this is going to be my chimney, he said. Rock by rock and row by row, Nikichuk built the most perfect house. He was finished, and he sat down and locked the door. His house was not very zippy, or really very cool, but it was very safe. And there was room enough for three little aliens. I hope they come to visit me soon, said Nikachuk. Look, he has three cups of tea and chairs so that his brother and sister can come visit. Then one galactic day down where there was rumbling in the universe, they heard the big bad robot. Bork was so busy on her swirly red planet, she couldn't hear the robot calling. She didn't feel his giant footsteps she didn't see the robot until it was too late. He was right in front of her. Would you be scared? I think I would be. Whoa, little alien, little alien, bleep the robot. Pull over, pull over. Not by the wheels of my trusty space rover, cried Bork bravely. Then I'll crack and I'll smack and I'll whack your house down beat the robot and just like that the robot cracked and smacked and whacked Bork's shiny rover into a hundred pieces. As fast as she could she sped off. Gork! Gork! Help me! Help me! she cried. I hope she goes to your brother's house. But Gork was having so much fun surfacing on the rings of his giant planet, he didn't hear Bork's cries or the big bad robot. Little lady and little alien, it won't come out of hiding. Not by the orbit of this ring I'm ringing, cried Bork. Then I will shatter and clatter and Scatter your house down. <gasps> and before Gork could fly beneath the radar, that robot clattered and scattered and shattered Gork's satellite into a thousand pieces. Oh no! We have to stick together. So at the speed of light, Bork and Gork blasted off into space. Where can we hide? Asked Gork. Let's find Nikachuk, cried Bork. He'll know exactly what to do. Nikachuk had heard the robot's roar. He had seen what was going on with his brother and sister through his telescope, and he was ready. He flashed his solar panels halfway across the universe. There he is, cried Bork and Gork, and they zoomed to Nikachuk's house fast as they could. Get inside, called Nikachek. There's no time to waste. There they are. No sooner had Bork and Gork slammed Nikachek's solid space rock door than they heard their robot rumbling. Little alien, little alien, he squawked. Let me come in. Not by the slime on my chinny chin chin, said Nikachuk. Then I will smack and crack and whack your house down. Ooh, look! Do they look scared? What do you think's gonna happen? Is the robot gonna knock their house down too? The big bad robot bashed and smashed and crashed Nikachuk's strong solid house but nothing happened. Then he pounded and smashed really hard. Not a crack. Then it loaded up its triple blaster and zapped the house. But the house 
did not fall. Just like the house made out of bricks was super strong. So the robot forced its way into the little alien's house, right down the chimney. The aliens covered their ears and waited for the robot to chomp them up. But halfway down the telescope, that robot got stuck tight. It strained and it struggled. It moaned and it groaned. Mikachek's house shook and it shuddered. But it didn't fall down. It did not. The robot gave one more mighty cry and burst into a million pieces. Cool, said Bork. Awesome, said Gork. Just as I planned, said Mikachek. There's just one thing missing, said Bork. What do you think is missing? Hmm. <gasps> Phone home, said Gork. So Mikachek did. Ma, he said, we have the coziest house in the galaxy. Won't you come over and tuck us in? And look, she did. How cool is that? That's kind of silly. Not three pigs, three aliens, and not a big bad wolf, a big bad robot. But just like in our other story, these friends all made different houses and the big bad robot broke some of them, didn't he? But in the end, they all stuck together and they lived happily ever after. I like that part. I think that's the best. I hope you enjoyed your story today. I look forward to seeing you again later at our reading corner.